<laughs> Hang on, let me just share the links to everybody. <coughs> talking time today mate you're the lead Alec hold on mate I'm just posting the links in and giving it giving everyone a chance to load the stream you over keen Welsh why you boy so in, why are you so angry for I don't know um, anyway right angry? That's one. ladies and gentlemen welcome along to round 13 of TUF division 1 we're here at the beautiful track of Monza in Italy um, I'm joined again by my Welsh compatriot, Mr. Shay Vaughan. Welcome, Shay. Hello, hello, hello. Thank nice you. To, nice to have you on board, mate. We have some interesting Thank things you. to talk about this evening. Um, a very varied grid. Um, but just before we proceed, we have 18 drivers on the grid tonight. Um, looks like we've got a sunny qualifying, but obviously with it being Italy, we know that that can vary up ever so slightly. Um, so we'll be looking for some fast times in qualifying this evening with just under 10 minutes to go it'll be interesting to see who takes pole position um, one thing we must mention just before we start is we have the return that is right ladies and gentlemen we have the return for the 85th time <laughs> of good aids good aids is back so after my heartfelt Celine Dion how long? yeah possibly about 10 laps but we're, we're, how long's a piece of string? Exactly, <laughs> you never know. And my, my heartfelt call to everybody when I played Celine Dion, my heart will go on that time when he left after Bahrain. <laughs> um, I've, I now want to, <coughs> you know, now want to turn that around. But anyway, uh, more to the point. We have, like I said, we've got 18, we've got 18 drivers on track this evening. Um, we have quite a few regular drivers missing just talk you through some of the division two guys we've got john uh, in we've got henry we've got pajestic we've got katamese who had a good result last night in division two uh we've got woods but we'll glide past woods quickly um we've woods got decided to show up. yeah woods decided to show up uh we've got wesley santana who's a reserve driver and we have the return of jester which is nice to see him back and then we have got napula as well who's been featuring quite a lot recently so Quite a varied grid. We've got the championship leader Fuzzer in, um, who extended his, sorry, didn't extend his gap in Belgium, um, unfortunately. So, but he still leads the championship from Dobby. And with the return of good aids, with seven or eight races to go, will he be able to pull anything out of the bag and surprise anybody towards the end? He does have a qualifying ban this evening. Very uh, sorry to butt in, but it was very, very bad strategy by Fuzzer in Belgium. I don't know what he was doing, to be honest. The track was dry. But, hey ho, who am I to teach Fuzzer, so. Well. Um, I'm looking through Corey's lap. He's just done a 21.6. Um, but, if you can hear me, Paul, it looks like you're about two gears up on the old Lesmo corners. Switch to gear four, quickly to five. There you go, there's a few tenths. And Dobby, a 21-2. What time was last night? The best uh, time? I'm not too sure, to be perfectly honest with you. I might have to go back and double check. I'm pretty sure that it was a 21-5. I could be lying or not. No. Possibly I am lying. I think he sure was. I'm pretty sure it was a 21-5. No, I'm, I, think, I, I think you're lying, I'll be very honest. But we'll have to, uh, we'll have to go back and see. Um, I'm not... I am going to go and see. Yeah, okay, you do that, my friend. Um, Go back to call you that, I think. We must, um, just before we proceed with qualifying, obviously we will get more in depth very soon. There's one thing I must do. Um, for everybody that was upset by Good Age's departure, um, I feel like, and the, you know, we all shed a tear when he left before with the Celine Dion music. I feel like this is necessary for us just to. Realise that it's not all doom and gloom in this world. And uh, you never know, he may stay back for good this time. But we will see. But anyway, enjoy this. <laughs> 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 
Anyway, back to the serious <laughs> stuff. Back to the serious stuff. Um, we've currently got Dobby on pole with 121.2, with Ox very close behind him. Um, we're just below a 121.3. <laughs> um, I expect the qualifying times to be fairly close this evening. Monica, uh, Monza, sorry, is a track where if it really just about is just about finding that consistency, going through like the first sort of couple of uh, chicanes. Other than that, really, it's quite a straightforward track, I think. Ascari can cause problems when you've got a bit of tyre wear, and making sure you've got the right setup is important as well. We saw a few guys uh, lose it for Ascari last night, including championship leader Luke, um, who had his first retirement of the season. So, but nothing more needs to be said about that, so we will move on swiftly. It was a 21-3. 21-3 was pole last night, was it? Yeah, Mr. Costa, there was under a second between all the grid. Wow. There we go. We've currently got that here as well, actually. Less than a second between everybody so far. So, who is your tip for pole this evening, my friend? I am going to go with... Ooh. I'm going to say Fez is going to pull it out of the bag. At some you point. reckon? Yeah. Hmm, it's going to be a bit of a close one. I will just um, do it again. I oh, see. I think it's going to be a bit of a close one. Yeah, yeah. Good days. This is for you. Just wait down. I think I know what's coming. <laughs> I do think I know what's coming. Good Steve O's back. back. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dear, Sorry oh for the unprofessionalism, guys, if that's even a word. Unprofessionalism? But I think it is. I think you've done well there. Thank you. If not, we'll have to uh, put in the dictionary ourselves. Yeah. If not, we'll have to take a, a leaf out of Tekken's book. <laughs> oh, it's not Tekken, it's Schumacher. Oh, Schumacher. Sh sorry, Schumacher. Schumacher, yeah. I think. Schumacher's um, distant cousin. Uh, Sch Schumacher, the only brother that wasn't an F1 driver. That is Tekken. <laughs> He's on the doll. <laughs> <laughs> Done a job centre in his Reebok Classics and his Kappa tracksuit. <laughs> anyway, right, we need to be professional. <laughs> we need to be professional. <laughs> With a dog tucked into his tracksuit. <laughs> oh dear. Right, three and a half minutes Ooh. to go in qualifying. Um, we have see, news. We have news. What is the news? It is going to be raining towards the middle, start and end of the race. Towards so it's a full the... wet race, supposedly. So why, why could you not just say a full, a full <laughs> wet race? <laughs> it's going to be <laughs> racing towards the middle, toes. start and end of the race. <laughs> Keeps Christ. people on their toes, mate. You know? Yeah, so I, well, I, so I could confuse you right now and just say that Fuzzer is currently 14 <laughs> minus... <laughs> minus... <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, Fuzz is currently 14th minus 11 places on the grid. If, if you want to be that confusing. But anyway, right, as the guys are going to be coming out now um, to do their final run in qualifying, we've got a few guys on their outlaps now. Obviously, we won't have a time from good aids. Um, so he'll be starting from the back. So we know that turn one is going to cause quite a few problems for people this evening. Um, I will say that I did get through the first turn last night without losing my front wing. So that deserves Whee! possibly possibly a knighthood in itself. But, you know, um, we would have to wait and see as we've got Jester retiring from the session. So it looks like he's going to be starting at least 15th on the grid. Uh, well, I'm sure we'll have Henry now on a flying lap because he always tends to do one or two laps right at the end of qualifying. Um, <clears throat> so, as it currently stands, we've got a few yellow flags coming up. We did actually get a safety car last night, so I wonder if we're, whether we're going to get the same thing this evening. Um, it was a very interesting watch last night, so I do recommend going back and having a look at that. Um, some, on, uh, I'm sorry. Some, yeah, some, some crazy results. Who's lost it? Who? Ox Ox. Has he lost it? Yeah, I was just about to say, get on board, because I think he's uh, one for Paul. Yeah, I was just on board with Whiskey a minute ago, and uh, he looked like he had quite a good lap. He's less than, uh, well, he's basically about a tenth behind the leader now. Which was yeah, Antonio's leg down. Pace. Yeah, he has got pace, yeah. Henry's gone second. 
Well. Right, so. Controller Alice is in the way of Dobby, and I don't know why. And Dobby's had to back out my lap. Oh dear. Oh no, no, Dobby's on his out lap at the moment. Ah, right, okay, fair enough. Well, let's hope that George Alice doesn't do the same thing as what he did uh, the other night to. Was that Henry? I think it was Henry. Yeah. Going around to set a flying lap, and George Alice just broke in front of him. So let's hope that the same thing doesn't happen again. I mean, he was quick to apologise, which was good to see. Um, <coughs> it's not like so, George. Well, uh, right, anyway, we're <laughs> going to go on board with Dobby, who's currently the pace setter. I think we're going to take an on board with him as he crosses the start finish line, approaches a very tricky turn one. This is one of those corners where you could lose so much time if you break too early, or if you break too late, you're just going to hit those bumper curbs and that loses you a good second off your lap, um, which is worrying to see sometimes. So, as he approaches now, I think one of the trickiest corners on the uh, on the track, this left and right turn here, if you clip too much of that curb, you end up going sideways. I did that a couple of times last night myself, and it's not fun as we see one of the cars parked over on the side of the road there. Henry, Henry quickest, Henry's gone to pole with a 20.8, so he's four tenths quicker than the man we're currently on board with, although I do Henry think Tires. he's going to improve. I do think he's going to improve now, Henry. He's retired. Uh, Dobby, sorry. He yeah. confident. Dobby, sorry, yeah. So he's, as he goes through a scary, takes it pretty nicely. And we're down towards the final and straight. Board with our tops. He's going on the final bend. Is he going on the final wide. bend? Yeah, he's gone wide. I think he could be in battle there. There's a 21.1. 21.1. On so Henry's held on to pole position. Where is Dobby going to end up? Dobby goes par of a 1 oh. 2. Oh. oh my god, that's close. So nine thousandths of a second, is that? Yeah. So what a run, and also on that note, where is Fuzzer? I can't currently get on board with him, unfortunately. Yeah, same, same. So we'll have to wait right and there. see. The last runner we've got is Fuzzer. Now where is that going to put him? Is he going to improve? <laughs> As things he currently did stand. He lap quite late. I think he'll be around Ascari around now. Yeah. Fuzzer. Oh no, he's finished, so he doesn't improve. Right. So, yeah. as we currently stand with a minute and 40 seconds left to go, and I think it's going to end pretty soon, the grid. So the front row, we have Dobby, who's put a fantastic qualifying time there with Henry alongside him on the front row. It's an excellent job there from Henry. We've got Ox Hox, which was the, the winner in Spa, um, starting in third place with Fuzzer alongside him, the championship leader. Then we go down to Whiskett and George Alice on the third row with Pagani and Corey putting in a very good qualifying. Um, yeah, well done the boys there, we're in 7th and 8th and then we've got Katamese and Shone rounding off the top 10 and then we move down to 11th where we have John, a Division 2 driver and then we've got Trizzy Antonio in 12th not really set the ground running to uh, so oh, far in TUF Is he? Yeah, he's um, He's got genuine scary pace Yeah, so. very very quick so you never know, um, he might have gone he does tend to qualify sometimes on the on the harder tyre um, so we'll have to wait and see. No, he qualified on supers. So he must have had a bit of an issue. I think he lagged out as well. Um, then we've got Wesley Santana in 13th, Napoli alongside him in 14th, and then we've got Pajestic in 15th. Um, hashtag Padge for president, get it trending. And in 16th we have Woods. And in 17th we have Jester. And in 18th we have Good Aids. So. Good Aids. Good Age. Oh, I'm hoping. At some point, whether it's even just through pit stops, at some point tonight, I hope we can say in first place we have good age. <laughs> I really hope we can do that at some point tonight because that is Where's always. Sal? Just, he's, he's working. Uh, yeah. Although we do have some good news about Sao Paulo, he has got rid of his top knot. Exactly. Breaking news. <laughs> Breaking news, Great news for TUF. Yeah. Sao Paulo has lost the top knot. He has. He went to the shop and found something called the life, and then he got rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> we've um, we've had quite Walked a response. the barbers <clears throat> and just asked for his life back. <laughs> we've had quite a response so far from um, our celebrations of good aids. Um, <laughs> what we said. Uh, you might have to look yourself. What's this in the uh, 
in the chat. In the race. Right. And we have some random called Goy Carp commenting in there as well. I don't know who you are, but enjoy. <coughs> yes, oh God, we do have a, a rainy race. Right, I predict turn one is going to be absolute carnage. Oh, yes. I one person will Cobra forgot to for break. Funky Cobra for the win. Is he joined? Nobody's that quick. You'll join and still win. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Funky is generally flying in the wet. Yeah, he is quick. Squish anyway, scared. I can't not do this with 10 seconds to go. This is the part where the drivers prepare themselves for the start of the race, getting comfortable, getting the strategies right. Um, if it's going to be a full wet race, it's going to be interesting to see how the tyres hold up and how many stops and when they are made and how many safety cars we have. Anyway, Shay, can you go on board with the middle of the pack as we've got five lights? Nice belt, nice belt. And we are away. In Italy, looks like it's been a good start there from Henry. Dobby's looks like he's had quite a poor start from what I can see so far. Quite a few guys going side by side. Henry takes the lead, going to turn one. He's going to take a narrow line going through. There's a bit of a nudge at the back there from Ox, I believe, as Dobby's gliding over the curbs. He's going to lose a position there to Fuzzle as well. So that's a poor start from Dobby so far. Good George start Alice. from Trizzy. He's up to ninth. Yeah, good start there from Trizzy. George Alice is a good start as well. Dobby's had a really poor Pretty start. Pretty clean start, to be honest. Yeah. Really clean start. I've seen, a bit of a, the I've seen a bit of a front wing gone there as Corey's just fending off his position. So he's still down in P7. The front six has pulled about half a second gap. Good aids is up two places. Up a couple of aids. Good start from good aids. Henry's had a fantastic Henry's start. Gone. Yeah. <laughs> Pagani's got a five second stop going for corner cutting. Good start. Come on, Pagani, keep your head up. As they go through a scary, are we going to see many people losing it? Doesn't look like it. it. Oh, who's Good that? Start from who's George that? As well. Ooh, Whiskey. Corey's followed Whisket. Yeah, Whisket's had a wobble. Yeah, Corey followed him. We're going to take a look. It's quite hard to see with all of this, uh, <laughs> with all of this rain, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you to the viewers. Puzzles but... left. Puzzle's left. left, so he's already had his lag spike, so where's that going to put him? He's going to come up with last, I think. But yeah, interestingly, so could that reignite the, uh, as Corey's going side by side with Whisket? Yeah. yeah, I'm there. Get we'll the rich, get him rich. Yeah, Fuzz is still he's lagging. Anyway. Oh, he's dived up the inside, Corey. Whisket's had to dive out of it. Out. So he's going to lose a few, he's got a three second time penalty there for oh, his troubles. We shouldn't be getting a penalty for that, right? Avoid the collision. And Pagani's passed him as well. Yeah. It didn't really work out for Whisker that. No, it didn't. We've got a couple of guys going side by side a bit further down. Whisket's given Pagani a bit of a nudge there. And he's got past him. has has gone, is he? Yeah. Fuzz has dropped all the way down to P11. Has he re been able to rejoin yet? I don't think so. Trizzy's off the track. Trizzy has left the session. There we go. Lost his front wing. So not too sure what's happened there, unfortunately. I don't think that'll bring out a safety car. Henry has got a two second gap already. So an absolutely lightning start from Henry. Fuzz has rejoined and he is just in front of good aids as it currently stands. Oh, really? So that could reignite a bit of a battle. We have a safety car. Oh, wow. Would be perfect opportunity for guys who lost the win. Absolutely. Not really losing much. Good a couple of positions, but you're only going to lose more with no wing. So. Yeah, exactly. And I didn't see Pagani get passed back by Whisket either, so I don't know about that. Yeah, Whisket took a bit of a dive down. I can't remember what turn it is. It's the second chicane on the on the lap. I think it's like turn yeah, four, maybe. Um, Three or four. Yeah, so he, Pagani, uh, sort of Whisket hit Pagani, made Pagani go over the curbs, and Whisket ended up taking the position. So, a bit of an awkward one, but Pagani has dived into the pits there. Mm, wing change. So, so far, excellent start from Henry. Yeah. I think he's a bit gutted the safety cars come out, though. Yeah. The pack back together. 
Good start from Napoli as well, up five places. Yeah, exactly. Yep, so the, the biggest improvers so far are Napoli and Good Aids, both up five positions. We know Good Aids is very, very strong in the wet. Um, so I would imagine him to get a reasonably good finish this evening as well. Um, providing he can get past clean. So Faza has rejoined in front of Good Aid, so that's going to spark the old battle that used to be between the two of them. Yes. So as it currently stands, would you like to take us through the current order, Shay? We shall, my friend. Bear with me. Do, 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 do. Right. So in first in the Ferrari. Seems weird seeing Henry in the Ferrari. Uh, first place, Henry. And then Ox Ox, I believe you pronounce it. Yep. Uh, the race winner in Belgium, George Alice in third. Dobby fourth, bit of a poor start. Corey, fantastic start, up in fifth. Whiskett is in sixth. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce his name, so I'm going to say Katamiz. Katamiz, yeah, that's is it. in seventh. <laughs> John is up in eighth. Napula, also, like you said, great start, up five and ninth. Sean stays where he was, in tenth. Wesley Santana, buzzer, good aids, excited to see that restart. Old Jester himself. Uh, hashtag Padge for President, Pagani, and Woods. And Woods is quite a while back. And then you've obviously got Trizzy who's uh, retired. Yeah, the only retirement we've had so far is Trizzy, okay. So, um, can I just make a point? What a fantastic name Wesley Santana's got. It just sounds like a really good rapper, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. I always thought that about him. Yeah, the, the, tell you what, the weather conditions don't look like they're going to change anytime soon. So I think the guys were telling the truth there, where it's going to be a completely full wet race. Um, as we predicted in qualifying, it's gone from being beautiful sunshine to the typical English weather. Yep. <laughs> Unfortunately, so Wesley Stand Santana up. gets all oh dear, what's happened? So Wesley has caused a severe collision with Sean. Oh no. And he's got a five second penalty for his troubles, is it? Sean got, yeah, Sean's lost half of his front wing now. And Wes, Wesley has done the same. So, no idea what's going on there, but it amazes me how people cannot drive under a safety car. Sure, it's not going to be uh, too happy with that, no. no, not at all. It very much reminds me of our former Irish compatriots that we had that didn't know how to drive under a safety car as well. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, I don't know why people can't just stay in single file, that's how Paolo said last night. Take it back to school, when the teachers would tell you to stand in single file. <laughs> when you've been naughty, which someone has been naughty, so that's why the safety car is out. Okay, so are Five we about to... Stop. Oh, Jester. For collision with good eggs. Okay. For who, sorry? For Jestic? Uh, Jester. Jester. So, good eggs are fine, no, I believe. Well, no, he's pitted. Um, yeah, oh, well, yeah, he's lost the front right of his, of his wing. Oh dear. Oh god. Five yeah. seconds stop, go for Pagani as well. And, oh! Oh, Henry's gone. Henry's gone, no! Henry's gone. Uh, and Dobby tried a dive bomb and Dobby's gone. Dobby's it retired. Dobby's oh Dobby's dear. Up. Oh well, well that's good news for Fazza. Uh, that brings George Alice into the lead. Wow, that was a quick turn of events, wasn't it? Yeah. Sean's got a five really second side penalty. By side with the ox. Yeah, it's penalties yeah. everywhere. Should be exciting towards the end of the race. Oh, You've ox. got the ox. Very close on the back of George oh, Alice. Napula up eight places. Into P6, good start. <coughs> Corey up four, and George Alice up five, leading the race. And we know George has pace. Yes, he may not be the best racer, but he does have pace, so maybe him being in front, maybe he can, you know, pull away from you. Maybe so, maybe so. Um, and as it currently wide, stands, as it currently stands, who's your money on? Uh, Ox because he has just passed George Alice. And we have Dobby apologising to Henry. All respect to Dobby. Yeah, well done, Dobby. 
Unlucky, mate. Unfortunately, it's Ox. Yeah, like I said, Ox starts lap six. Yeah. George is first place. Well, Ox's straight line speed's incredible. Yeah, just on board it. I've got a beautiful helicopter shot of it. Always in third. Always yeah, pass cool. with Skip. Yeah. I think he's just eyeing up a, a mistake from George. Yeah. To be honest oh, with you, see Dave wrong. sometimes that is the way that it works, isn't it? Um, yeah, yeah. Sometimes if you know if you've got somebody in front of you that's a bit dubious at times. Yeah, Corey will remain calm. There you go. There's George. George is through. So I'm just going down the field at the moment, George side Alice. Side or... Oh, they side by side. She isn't going to end well. George looks like he's held it. Yeah, he looks like his, his car's got no grip. I think he's got a dry setup on. A majorly dry setup. Around the corners, he is struggling. Well, this is good news for Corey at the moment because it's enabling him to close up and. Like I said, maybe capitalise on something. You call it whisket. It's pretty close behind him. Yeah, Whisk yeah, whisket had a great exit. We've got Henry That's going to gain so many positions to the uh, Ascari because if you go wide there, you lose so much. You time. lose so much time. Yeah. Henry and does Henry's have. all over the back of John. Yeah, just on board with that. <laughs> Henry goes around the outside. Can he hold it? Oh, he has got a damaged front mm -hmm. wing though. That's not good. Is good Henry going to go 15. in? No, he's going to stay out. Nice. He's had a really good exit at Parabolica. We're going to start finish straight. We're going to use some Derby saying that he outbreak himself. Um, I'm very sorry. Henry he and John going side by that. side into turn one. <clears throat> Henry's got the inside That's line. Good driving. Yeah, well done to the boys there. Yeah, John's a Great extremely good. Wow. Yeah, John's a very good driver. He's uh, he's impressed yeah. me a hell of a lot. You've also got Pagani in this little battle as well. Yeah, yeah, Pagani's <coughs> up his way through as well. So Pagani's got past John, has he? Oh, 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 a bit of a touch. Considering Pagani, considering Pagani had a wing change, it's not a bad restart from him. Not so. at all. Well, we just had the fastest lap from Goodaid, who is 31 seconds behind the rest of the field. Um, so, but he has obviously had to make a pit stop. So, how much will and we John's see back. that gap come down? Yeah. John's back through to Pagani. Henry's got some lucky. serious pace. Yeah. John Taking on. Side by side. This Taking could be on. dangerous. Yeah, it could be. Go going into Ascari. Oh, pushes him wide a little. But still, great driving from John. Give him plenty of room there. Certainly was. Pagani's got that move done. And it's also allowed Fuzzer to get up alongside John. Yeah, yeah. So it pushed John down into P10, unfortunately. Although Pagani is running with minus one point two laps of fuel so he's gonna to have to really conserve some fuel at some point i think once the fuel starts to maybe spread itself out a little bit yeah although considering this is the way that the tone of the race has gone so far it wouldn't surprise me if this ends up being an extremely close race mm, same because i'd be honest george alice is pulling away mm. i said you know once he's in front possibly you know you can't catch him but that Oxbox does have five laps of fuel, so you know he's he's got something in the race. Yeah. But they're not exactly pulling away from Corey. Whisket isn't far behind from Corey, and we've got Ketmins. 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 In fifth place, and then you also got Shaw in Okay, let's glide over that quickly. Are we going to get ourselves into trouble I think, after this race? Is it? Is? <laughs> Henry is, yeah, definitely. Henry is all over the back to show it. He's made that up very quickly, hasn't he? Yeah, Henry. Scary piece. Henry's very, very quick. He was good last night as well, to be fair to him. Henry sensibly sits behind Sean. Sean isn't one to crack under pressure, though, I don't think, so I don't no. imagine he will uh, give up that position too easily. And they have. Pagani just behind them, so Pagani's putting away as well. Bear in mind he's already pitted. What's happened? Ooh, yeah, Na three. Napola, What's happened? I believe. Yeah, Napola has lost the front left side of his wing. Uh, and you've got Katami's all over Whisket. Side by side. Going yeah, going side by side. Yeah, it's going in towards turn one. 
We've seen that Whiskey doesn't like the wheel to wheel going into turn one, so I imagine he will. Uh, oh no, he's held it pretty nicely. Katamiz has done a good move there. Finds himself into P4. Yeah, well done. This is much right. more entertaining than Hungary. Yeah. Already. Really showing. Henry still can't pass. And Pagani's all over the back of them. Pagani's got some good pace. He's showing some good pace tonight, isn't he? Good age. It's another fastest lap, so he's absolutely flying at the moment. Oh, and Pagani's through. Pagani side by side with Henry. Good move by Pagani. He's done it. Yes, he can. And Fazio's looking as well. Will show and let Pagani through. I'm not sure. I don't think he needs okay. to at the moment, to be fair. Um, bear in mind, I've got Fuzzer and Emery behind him, two very quick yeah. drivers. Yeah, true. It does seem that Pagani's got a better pace as it stands, mm. but the thing is, if you'd want to be behind them too, so. If shown um, lets Pagani through, then he's going to lose positions to Emery and Fuzzer in the process. So exactly. he's going to go from 6th to ninth, and he's absolutely no point in doing that to be honest with you especially at lap 9 yeah exactly well, Pagani definitely has the that pace it's going to stay on board with his battle at the moment just because it seems to be the closest one on track all the guys here battling for P6 Pagani on the side did Sean land through yeah I think Sean just lifted ever so slightly there so and Henry's looking Henry's Henry. looking Henry is looking. Sean had to back out. Sean's through three second time penalty. Oh dear. Not good. Henry's having another look, is he? <coughs> Bugani is currently 1.5 seconds behind Academies. Not the fastest oh. lap from good age. Yeah, and a five second stop go for Sean as well, so. Penalties could be a very big factor in this. I want to go back on board with Whiskey because he's very close to Corey in a battle for third place. That's okay, Corey must have made a mistake somewhere then because... Yeah, he's just run he's wide there. Yeah, he's quite far in front. So, Corey's run wide coming out the second Lesmo, so... As they're coming down to Ascari, is Corey going to be able to hold it? Yes, he is. Come on, Corey. I've got favourites, though. <laughs> you shouldn't have favourites, it's naughty. I'm in favour. There you go. The guy has got it down to 1.2 already. 1.1. He's on the back of these guys already. Pagani is absolutely flying. So we're finally seeing that pace that I kept yeah. telling everybody that he had for a very long time. Yeah. And he's already 2.1 seconds ahead of Henry. So. Well, we've got Fuzzer all over the back of Henry as well, but then also we've got Whiskey who keeps having a look at Corey. So Whiskey did get back past Katamese there, which we did miss. Yeah, true. This is a, a very close battle from P3 down to P... What, 9, 10? Even 11? Awesome Woods is caught up, actually, saying that. Yeah, Woods, Woods is really quick in the wet. He was on the last game and we haven't really seen him much on this one. Corey seems like he's struggling. Yeah, and Corey's Whisket. had a wobble there. So Corey's lost his P3 out to Whisket. As we said before, he needs to be careful of attacking Corey. He needs that red carpet because if anyone Sim ruins his wing, Corey has the ability to just wave his wand and say bye bye. So, <laughs> why do you think I'm in Division 2? <laughs> <laughs> Not, it's through choice, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's definitely good choice. Um, would like to just say that within four laps, Good Age has made up nine and a half seconds. Well, so he's definitely been quick. But Corey now is having another back. look. Yeah. Well, nearly he's having a look around Parabolica. Whisk it closes the door on him, which is going to potentially jeopardise Corey's position to Katamese as well. Yeah, it was a good defensive move though. Yeah. I don't know why Corey ain't going into Rich. Yes, he is. There you go. Yeah, he's got him, surely. You think? Ooh, Ooh I don't know. He's going to tuck him behind him. As Sean comes into the pits. 
I feel close these guys are for a second between them all. I know, this is mad, isn't it? Pagani's caught up, but mm. hopefully, for Pagani, he can get past the guys in front, or at least a couple of them, um, because yeah. otherwise that's going to then bring Henry and Fazer into the party, and you know that they're yeah. quick. And plus, John and Woods ain't far, too far behind either, mate, to be honest. Yeah, exactly. John so and Woods are on their way as well. Very, very close. We haven't even checked the leaders. I'm going to check the leaders. There you go. George is still quite far ahead. So yeah, he's got a second and a half gap to Ox. But yes, I mean, obviously, for the stream purposes, oh, Pagani's gone wide. I think he's just pushing yeah. ever so slightly to our Jerry's. <laughs> lost about half a second there. Which has allowed Henry to kind of close up a little bit on him, so. We have a yellow in sector three. Mm. What has happened? And another I one. No, but Ox have seemed to catch George a little. Oh, there's a red bull down the road. Who's that? Uh, Jester. Is it? Yeah. What was he doing? Len, Castle, Blue Flags. Oh, he lost his front wing. Oh dear. Oh, <laughs> he oh okay. Um, he drove into the pit wall. Oh, I'm not sure whether that was intentional. Um, he, he might have had a fly in his eye or something like that. You never yeah. know. Even though they do have helmets uh, visors on, but you never know. Is he going to bring out another safety car? I don't say up not. Because I'm enjoying this. I think so. I think with these, to be honest, Aaron, uh, three to say nine or ten, they have all got the same pace. So they just waited on a mistake. Like, if you look at it, it's just a train. I wish we could see the map. It's literally from third to about tenth. Not so much tenth, but third to eighth are literally all within sights of each other. Yeah, this is mad. Um, considering this proves out to be quite a nice battle. The only concern I've got for, for Pagani is the fact if he's got minus 1.3 laps of fuel. Um, yeah. Which is worrying, um, really. Yeah, and I find in Italy it's not really a track you can afford to under fuel along because you're a full no. throttle, you know, 90% of the time. So, exactly. Well, but, you know, sitting in standard still does. Pagani's on the back of Academies. Sorry to cut you short. He's gone into lean. Then into lean to pass him on the streets. <coughs> I think Pagani is going to make those moves Cat there. Oh, Woods. Cat moves has gone into uh, the pits. Woods has got past John. Yeah, Ox is into John the pits as well. Did he pass? I think he passed him because John's all over the back of him now. He's going to yeah. take another look. Oh, he looks. Ooh. Teammates fighting. Good to see. <coughs> yeah, isn't it? Oh, and Pagani's. Oh! Pagani's Oof. what? Oh my god, that was close. Full oh, fair now. <laughs> <laughs> he hit the grass and he went sideways. He's about to go into the wall, and I don't know how he kept it, but now Henry's passed him. Henry's having a very good look, isn't he? Pagani's right. Very Pagani, close to you. Know. Keep your head. Keep your head. Plenty of time left in the top five. And Henry's gone wide again. Pagani's back through. They're going to be going be. side by side down into, back into Ascari. Bit of a touch. And he's got Fuzzer all over it as well. Yeah. Fuzzer. Ooh. Ooh. Henry's given Fuzzer a bit of a nudge onto the grass. Fuzzer's held it well. Which has allowed Pagani to have a little bit of breathing space. Wow. And George is flying. Absolutely flying. Only if I made my prediction this week. So I said for him to win Hungary last week, didn't I? Yeah. I don't think George will win. The thing is with George, you don't. No. How come? I just got a feeling that when George Alice comes into the pits, he's going to come out somewhere in the pack and he's going to push too hard trying to overtake somebody. Um, uh, yeah. Fuzzer is in the pits from P8 as well as Progestic from P9. So we are going to see. John's past Woods, just to let you know. Has John got back past? Nice. Okay, so we're going to go back and board with Corey, who is somewhere on the game. Where is he? There he is. 
So as it currently stands, I was just going to say the funny thing is that I find is no one realizes because no disrespect, he's not the best racer, but how quick George actually is. Like he is one of the time trial wise, one of the quickest guys in the game, surprisingly. Yeah. He is literally top ten in most tracks. Yeah. But, you know, when you look at him in the race, you know, he's like me, he just tries too hard and it just never works out, so Yeah. No, I com com completely agree. And Corey oh Whiskers gone, Corey's had a great exit. Corey surely into second. And then side by side into Parabolica, Whiskey, is he gonna do that little dive across the track like he did last time? Or is no Corey's through. Hopefully he can just hold Parabolica nicely and get a good exit, which it looks like he has done. Do you think it's going to be a full wet race or do you think it's going to switch to winters at some point? I think it might switch to winters. It doesn't seem like it's the rain's anywhere near as heavy. No, no. That's what I was thinking. It'd be so interesting yeah. to see who goes for them and when. Yeah, certainly. But I'm going to go back down on board with Good Age because there's a three-way battle for P9 between Fuzzer, Katamese and Good Age. Well, yeah, he's pulled up. I know obviously they've picked in, but still, Good Age is great with Tiger Tyler Ransom. And just to let you know, Ox is on the Inters. Is he really? Yeah. Yeah, a few of them are. Yeah, so we've got yeah. Ox, Fuzzer, Katamese. Woods, Napula, Wesley. So this could work out fantastic for the likes of George and Corey. Because if it's not exactly in this weather yet, just stay out on the wets until it is. You know what I mean? So exactly. Well, Fazer looks like he's pulling away a little yet. bit. So Fazer got past Katamis, and now Good Age is behind him. Um, Fazer's now pulling away ever so slightly, and Good Age looks like he's getting held up a little bit. Um, so looking at it from that point of view, to have a look at this sort of battle down here will be. The yeah, right sort of indicator. Right, yeah. There's good ages now going all over the back of Katamese approaching into Ascari. Yeah, he's had a great exit as they're going down into Parabolica. I would imagine good age to get the move done by turn one. Whiskey gets another three second time penalty. So as Pagani, has got past Whiskey. Right, okay. Fuzz is the fastest lap on Inters, so I definitely think it is Inters weather. Yeah, so let's go in. Do you think George or Corey, etc., will see that? They don't know he's on the Inters, so. What do you think? No, they don't know. Um, not too sure. But if I was these guys, I wouldn't leave it too long. If I was, especially for like Pagani at the moment as well, I would definitely pop into the pits and change over yeah. onto the Inters very soon because the longer you leave it, the further down the field you're going to fall, unfortunately. Exactly. Well, what a race we've had so far, though. Some really, really close yes. battles. It's nice to see some of those races where it's just ridiculously repetitive and boring. Um, We've certainly not had that this evening, so it's going to be quite an interesting watch back for the guys, isn't it? We've got and some George votes. Yep, George we've got is in. George is in, is he? So let's yeah, see if Corey and, Pag Corey and Pagani must follow. If they don't, they're making a Corey mistake, I think. Out. They stay out, yeah. Wow. Well. I think. So we've got Corey leading the race, which is, I think that's the reason why he stayed out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Um... Yes. Messi but the ox does. Does the ox pass George is the question. He does. Comfortably. Oh, wow. so, that's, so that shows the inter weather. Yeah. George was how much in front? I'm pretty sure George had a hefty lead on the ox. So where has George Alice returned? So he, yeah, he's come out seven yes. seconds behind ox. So, and we're, now he's got a very quick fuzzer approaching. And George has pitted for the wets. No way. Yeah. Oh no, sorry, that's just my screen. He's actually on the end. Um, and Whiskit is on, on the, the soft. 
<laughs> I was just about to say that. <laughs> so, a very uh, optimistic move from Whiskit there. So it's a poor deal for the guys that he was fighting with. Uh, yeah. <laughs> very optimistic indeed. Oh, Pagani, it's a three second penalty. Um, right. Okay. Odds on Whiskit retiring. Evens. Evens. <laughs> <laughs> Um, wow, right, we're going to stand ball, stand ball with the leaders just to see whether they go in or not. They should, and I hope they do. And staying up again. Pagani's in. Okay. I think Corey's dragging these wets as long as they can go. Technically, you don't have to stop when it's raining. Maybe Plus. that's what he's hoping for then. Yeah. Plus, it could be. There's also a. Go on. You know, there's also a chance that these Inters will die die soon, so he's just going to pit for Inters quite late and hopefully yeah. catch up, but because the Italy pit lane ain't exactly long, so there's okay. quite a slow pit lane. Yeah, I can't believe what Whiskey has done. Whiskey, oh, Wh Whiskey has pitted, he's, yeah. got a, he's got a five second stop go for speeding in the pit lane. <laughs> so maybe those super softs were. He took the mediums on. No, he hasn't. Now he's put inters on. <laughs> no, no, I'm winding up. I thought he was going to go to the ultras. <laughs> Try and make. He just messaged what the. F in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> he's not happy to have I, I, I think. I think the um the game started that for him, unfortunately, uh, which yeah, is yeah. very unfortunate for him. Corey's had a bit of a wobble coming out of Ascari. Um is maintaining a relatively nice gap to Henry, two and a half seconds, and you've got Ox ten seconds further down the road. So Corey, I think, I think if Corey pits, he's completely thrown this away. Yeah, Corey's Corey's in, and Henry's followed. I'm it. I'm getting two days in my bedroom. There's no problem. Not leaving Co me alone. Okay, so That's Corey, Henry's in. Corey and Henry are both pitted. Where do they come out? Corey's still in second. No, Ooh. Corey's currently third. And Corey's has he got out in front of Fuzzer? Ooh. Uh, no, 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 he hasn't. Of course. Well, so, Fuzzer's on the back, so my screen. No, he's on the inters. Exactly. Oh, Corey's completely cut the corner there. I think he's overshot that. Uh, which is easily done. Yeah, it's hard in the league to do. Pagani's got another, another penalty. Yeah. yeah, that's unfortunate for Pagani. He's driving well, but he's uh, getting a few penalties to his name. Which, yeah. <coughs> in the words of the Virgin Mary, is not beneficial. Not I'm, not sure. Sure. I'm not sure when she said that, but I reckon at some point she did. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely. So as we currently stand... He said they went to six on April Fool's Day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you know, I vaguely remember that now. Um, yeah, exactly. Right, so we've currently got Ox, who's seven seconds ahead of George Ellis. Um, so both of our tip to win the race. Mm -hmm. He's um, looking like he's going to win the race. But George just took three times out of in one sector. Yeah. Fuzz is in P3. Corey on fresh Jeez. inters, can he get past Fuzzer and earn himself a podium? We hope so. <clears throat> so with 15 runners still left, only three retirements, which is pretty good considering we're at Monza in the wet. Um, with yeah. Jester, Dobby, and Trizzy all retiring. <clears throat> Excuse me. As it currently stands, we've got Ox Ox taking the lead with six laps to go with George Alice in second. And then we've got Fuzzer in the Mercedes with Corey just behind in P4. We've got Katamese in fifth with John four and a half seconds down the road. Under pressure from Henry and Pagani just behind in seventh and eighth. And we've got Woods joining the battle in P9, driving very well today. And Pajestic rounding off the top ten. Uh, under pressure from Shone, who's in 11th. And then we've got Good Aid's four and a half seconds back in P12. Um, I think the wing damage and issues that he's had cost him quite dearly. Um, I still expect him to maybe get a couple of positions back. Then we've got Whisket down in P13 after his calamities from his team. 
Napa are down in 14th and Wesley Santana down in 15th. So most of the guys fairly close on track. We're going to stay on board with Henry's. He's putting John under pressure for P6. So Bacoli doesn't seem to be a match of his much. So. Okay, we've had a message from Tiago Roca just saying the word Brazil. Um, <laughs> so, w welcome. Welcome, mate. Brazil to you too. Brazil. Hi Brazil, you too. <laughs> and there's somebody else message saying, I love you, AA Ron, in the chat. Man, them's wanted. Very nice to see. We've got Henry having a very close look at John now. Division two rivals, these two. As Wesley Santana gets a three second time penalty from multiple warnings. I think that's his third of the night, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. We've got Ox Hox who's I think. comfortable. I've settled for fourth. Yeah, I mean, it's I still an excellent result. But, yeah, I think he was hoping for anyone but Fuzzer to uh, hold the front of him, to be honest. I recommend getting on board with this battle from but Henry and John. Good hits, considering his race, he is now right on the back of Padge and Showen, so you've got to give him some credit. And he, he's passed Pedestic. He's had, is he on board with that? No, unfortunately not. I was just uh, with Henry and John because they are literally side by side going to Ascari where Henry's just lifted off yeah, there. Got it. He's about to put himself into the points, mate. After his two stops. Right on the back, showing. Side by side. Going side by side into Ascari. He's good. He's going to just tuck in behind. Yeah, he is sensible. Sensible Hold driving. Yeah, I'm sure he will. Um, he's going to rely on a, a better exit than shown. <laughs> Interesting fact for you. It's actually pronounced Shun. We had this discussion. I thought it was Shun. No, it's Shun. As in Shu with an N on the end. When your girlfriend Henry. brings you a McDonald's mid-race ledge. Well, that's... Um, very unprofessional of my co of my co commentator. You know, I do apologise, guys. You shouldn't be advertising any type of brand. <laughs> uh, we've had an incident from Henry and John there. They've both got a 10 second time penalty for cutting a corner. Oh, so wow. I can only imagine they've both either thought, you know what, sod this. Let's just <laughs> try our luck and bounce over those curbs at turn one, or they've collided and just oh. done like a drift. What are we all in at? I need I need more than yeah, a little. Oh, okay. I'm on board with Henry, really? Yeah, it's oh. Well, possibly my eyes. <laughs> oh, Sean got back past Goodaids. They're side by side. No. Okay, now Goodaids is back through. Pagani dropped down. Hmm, yeah, he must have made a mistake. Why are you good Goodaids, though? Yeah, he's doing alright. I think he's going to be a bit, a bit gutted, um, as it currently stands. Mm -hmm. um, we've also had another message from Eric Bolar saying, where is the Chinese guy? Um, I don't I, I don't know. I really don't know. I, he's either a completely in the wrong place or just a little bit lost. Um, <laughs> so I'm not too sure, Eric. Maybe you're at the wrong place. Um, or maybe he's in, he's in China. Maybe he is in China. Maybe he just can't find any Chinese people inside China. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? We, we will never know, unfortunately, Eric. But have a wonderful time. Um, all right, good day. Just pulled off. Send us a postcard. Yeah. Okay, we haven't really got too much in the way of battles on track at the moment. Uh, no. We've got John down in P7, who's back on back of Henry again in P6 with Woods just keeping his distance in the background keeping himself in with the shout 
Yeah, what's it been really quiet but consistent in this race? Epic places. Woods quiet, don't make me laugh. <laughs> Roger that. Okay, we have John's had a very good exit out of Ascari, but all on the back of Henry. As they're going side by side, Henry closes the door. George Ellis is the fastest Ooh. lap. John's on the grass, done a bit of charity work, Ooh. and there's a bit of front wing loss there. Yeah, John's lost the front left side of his wing. So a little bit of history, them He's two guys. No, they've got a little bit of history, them two as well. Um, so unfortunately, it's uh, not looking too good for the two of them. Hopefully, the chat doesn't blow up later. Good ages in ninth. No, good ages in tenth. He's in ninth on my screen. He's definitely in tenth. <laughs> In um, ninth. Well, okay, who's in tenth? Well, never mind. He's in tenth. He's in tenth, isn't he? Yeah. I'll tell you what. After this, we'll do a separate. No, no. We'll, we'll do a separate maths class. Me and you. We'll practice counting to ten again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I thought. Thank you. I thought the two of us. I thought you'd already learnt that, mate. But maybe you just need a. Uh, I'll send you that textbook again in the post. Oh, thank you. Hopefully it arrives the same time as that guy's postcard. Yeah, hopefully. Well, what a day that would be. Exactly. You'd have, you'd have a wonderful a time, wouldn't it? And a textbook from Aaron. Bloody hell. I know. All that's missing is a voice note from Sean saying good age. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Did you Eric, have a time? Eric said found him. Ah, Bob Taylor. Hi, guys. Enjoying the commentary. Hello, Grandad. Hello, Bob. Although, oh, Bobby, Bobby. Grandad, happy birthday for a couple of days ago. Hope you had a lovely happy day. Bobby. Um, the only thing I will say, Grandad, is when you say hi to someone, you don't say hi as in, that's very high. You just be HI. <laughs> uh, other than, I, come on, Pops. You should be better than that, mate. Come on. <laughs> anyway. Oh, God, Grandad, Bob. You go all right. I love Grandad Bob, the man, the myth, the legend, as Woods has got into P7. Well, that might have been auto-correct. Got to give Grandad some credit. Might have been auto-correct. Yeah, exactly. I don't he, think Bob's there. Uh, I don't think Bob needs a textbook. No, Bob's he's top of the range. He's got himself an iPad, hasn't he? Oh, God. Yeah, he's sitting on the Bob. table with his brandy and coke and his headphones on. Good man. Staring at Nan's tits in the front room. <laughs> We're going to get so much shit tonight. Can we? Right, stop it. Stop it. We're on the last lap. Pull your mic out because I've got to do the last lap. <laughs> I'm laughing too much. <laughs> sorry. Oh, for God's sake. I'm sorry, Grandad. <laughs> right, anyway, so approaching the final lap of the race. We have Ox in the lead with George Allison in second, <coughs> four and a half seconds behind. So it looks like Ox has got the win here. <clears throat> we've got Fuzzer down in P3 with Corey in fourth. And then we've got Katamese in fifth with Henry in sixth. Uh, John in 7th, we've got back past his teammate Woods in 8th, so a good race. Pagani is down in P9, with good aids, who's brought up loads of time uh, into P10, who's 2.5 seconds behind him. Then we've got Sean just outside the points, under pressure from Whiskit in P12. And then we've got Napla in 13th. And Pajestic in 14th, with Wesley Santana, the final runner. <clears throat> As we've got Whiskit having a look up the inside of Sean. No, he's just going to pull out of that. Then we've got the non-finishers of... Who is your of, driver of the day? Hold on, we've got the non-finishers of Jester, Dobby and Trizzy. Um, driver of the day... <clears throat> for myself, actually, whilst we've got about a lap to go, anybody that's watching the race, please type in your driver of the day as well. I'm going to give it to it's Corey. Finished, Ox has won. Ox has won. It's a fantastic effort from him. George Alice has had a good result there in P2. Uh, I'm going to give my driver of the day to Corey. Yeah, I mean, 
followed closely by Woods and Good Aids, but yep. definitely Corey. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, Good Aids would have had a much better return um, had he not had to make that extra pit stop. And I think mm -hmm. he would have been in real contention there for a podium. Yeah, penalties. A lot of penalties. It's Woods up ten places. Yeah, and in Good Aids up place. nine as well. So yeah, Woods has had a really good race. Wow. <clears throat> <laughs> Henry down six. But my granddad has um <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to pull your headphones out because I can't bear you to laugh while I'm doing the final classifications. Granddad put a message in the chat saying do you want a picture of Nan Tits? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like oh. my contractions. Oh, no way. We're going to get in so much trouble. <laughs> Go on, Bobby. Oh, Go granddad. I miss you, I tell you. <clears throat> hell. Anyway, as Ox stands at the top of the podium after his win, we've done the final classifications, but we've seen there just with penalties as well. Row. Two wins in a row. So since he's been a permanent driver, he's had two wins in a row. So it's fantastic effort from himself there. George Alice had a good race in second. Fuzzer in P3. Good recovery after his uh, lag out issue, which always seems to happen once a race. Corey's had a fantastic run as well. A couple of penalties, but um, Wood's done well as well today, up from P16 to 6. And obviously we've already been through the final classifications, but I need to go and take a shot on the old asthma pump, I think. Um, oh, man. <laughs> But thank you very much for joining me today, Shay. It's been been good fun. Anytime. Anytime, my friend. But um, yeah, so thank you very much to everybody for tuning in and watching. I hope you all enjoyed it um, as much as we have tonight. We are in Singapore <laughs> for round 14 on Tuesday. And then we move on to, I can't remember, I think it might be Malaysia on Thursday next yeah. week. But make sure you tune in for the Division 2 race on Monday evening. Uh, where I will be racing myself as well as Shay actually. Shay is now a compatriot of mine. So in Division exactly. 2. So thank you very much for watching everybody and um, make sure to like the video and all of the other bits and bobs you do. Have a good Thursday, have a good weekend and we'll see you soon.